Hello YouTube, this is Stefan again here to bring you another story, another share of something that I learned and that you that could help you in your journey in life or your success or even help you with teaching your students or inspiring your participants at your speaking engagements or even sharing with your kids. Today what I'm going to share with, uh, with you is from a movie. In fact, it is a very popular movie. If you haven't seen it, you should go and watch it. <laughs> uh, there are many amazing things that I've learned from the stories in the movies. But uh, this was one that really woke me up and, you know, made me or directed me in the direction that I'm currently, the path that I'm currently going down in, which is business. Uh, all my life, I've been thinking business and, you know, thinking about, you know, uh, doing business. Uh, and in Iron Man 3, uh, and it, the, the Marvel Marvel movies are a really great uh, example of how business should be done, yes? It's all an upsell, you know, Iron Man 1 led, led to Iron Man 2, and they led to the Avengers, uh, you know, Captain America's movie led to the Avengers, the Hawks movie led to the Avengers, you know, uh, and Thor led to the Avengers, and then in Thor 2, it came, you know, it was after the Avengers came back, etc, etc. It was all linked to one, uh, but that's another explanation for another day. Maybe I'll do a video on the upsell of Marvel. Um, but uh, Nine Man 3, it was, it came at a very really apt time. Uh, yes, and it, it was really a very apt time because I was looking for a direction and, you know, I was not looking for a direction, but it, w it was a really great inspiration and motivation for me. Here's how it happened and why it happened, okay? Uh, so I was watching the movie with my siblings. I, I love to take, take my siblings out for movies and uh, we really, you know, just the four of us, we like to uh, you know, just hang out one I mean, once a month and watch a movie together. And in the movie, the story began as, you know, Iron Man coming, having saved the world from in Avengers 1, you know, he, he sent the nuclear warhead you know, through to the wormhole, they call it the wormhole, where the aliens were coming in, and he saved the world, and eventually he saved the world, however, he had really bad dreams from it, he had the really bad uh, thoughts, and he couldn't sleep for many nights, and in Iron Man 3, he was faced with, you know, another huge bad guy, and he was forced, sort of forced into battle with him, because, because of his arrogance, and also, uh, how he, you know, just he just wanted to fight this bad guy, and and uh, there was one point in time when he was at his low point, where he, you know, his suit was was broken, and he he couldn't get it fixed in time. There was nothing he could do, and every time he thought about the moment which he saved the world, he would actually get a panic attack. So this happened as actually a couple of times, and there was one point in time when he was he was at his lowest. Everything was not going well. And he was alone in the car and he was talking to this kid over the phone and he says, you know, he says, you know, what, what can I do? I don't know. And, and then he was having this panic attack. And the most inspirational moment came when, uh, uh, you know, he was, the, the kid, the little kid reminded uh, Iron Man or, or you know, uh, Tony Stark about his, his experience in New York where he saved the world. And he will, he started to get a panic attack, and the kid turned around because he says to Iron Man, he says, he's to, to Tony Stark, he says, hey, wait, Tony, you are a mechanic, isn't it? And you say you're a mechanic, isn't it? If you say you're a mechanic, why don't you go and build something? Why do you go and take? Why don't you go and take some action, and build something? And then. Iron Man just suddenly he calms down and he thinks about it. He says, yes, I'm a mechanic. So he goes out there, he goes into the department stores, he goes and sources for the resources he requires, his little things, and he started building these really, really cool gadgets. Uh, you know, this hand that could electrocute people, uh, grenades that were made out of, you know, different, different little things from Home Depot. Uh, and, you know, he just became this warrior because he found back his identity, the person who he, who he is, and he, the person that he says he is. And that, at, at that point, something 
uh, something really amazing happened to me as well because at that point uh, I was the little kid spoke to me in a sense that he said you said that you're a business person yes why don't you go and build a business it's, it's something like you said you're a teacher why don't you teach a better lesson you said you're an actor why don't you act if you said you're a singer why don't you go and sing yes it was at that you know amazing moment that I realized that wow right let's go out and do something that we said we would we would do and do it well just do it to our best ability and all our frustration all our thoughts all our worries um, they, they will still be there but however we can just, we can just just focus on what we do well and get results from it uh, and you know again I never really plan to share this but uh, you know, in in this sense, but it just it was just one moment that really enlightened me. Tell me about what you think about this movie. You know, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it because it's really amazing. And uh, it's re at that point, it was at that point that it was uh, for me one of the, my favorite parts in the movie uh, because it also had a dramatic impact on how I saw myself and how the movie spoke to me. Uh, so do tell me about what you learned from this video or you can go and watch the movie and, and uh, look at the, that point when, which I just shared about with you and uh, of course Iron Man eventually he saved the day it wasn't easy but you know he did it he, he went on he became a he just he just went and built stuff and eventually his suit was fixed right by Jarvis uh, I'm a really big fan right now actually of a handman uh, and uh, by Jarvis and you know he saved the world uh, he saved the day again uh, so so thank you for watching this video uh, and uh, I you know I hope you subscribe uh, you know, in fact don't, don't I'm not hoping you subscribe right now <laughs> like this video share with your friends uh, because I'm gonna post one thing one video a day to share a story and inspiration and epiphany uh, with you and you know you will you greatly benefit from it and you can use my content you can use this video and can share it in your classes or you can learn the stories that I share you learn the concept that I share and share it in your classes in your speaking engagements in your seminars okay I, I'm totally open with you sharing about me uh, and you know I, I, I hope that this will be a great impact to your to your seminars and your classes so thank you very much. This is Stefan again. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any amazing stories that you are sharing in your classes that you would like to share with the world, you can let me know. And I will share your story and of course credit you as the person who told me this story. Okay? Thank you very much. Depending on where in the world you are, good morning, good night, and good afternoon. And uh, I hope you have an awesome day. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.